remained flat for most of the day. A late surge saw the markets end with fairly healthy gains. Nifty finally managed to end above the 7500 mark and the rally was supported by the Bank Nifty with 10 out of the 12 bank stocks ending in the green. The Sensex rose 130 points in trade by the end of the day actually. Anuj Singhal is standing by to provide an in-depth analysis of today's market. Anuj, finally the Nifty ends above 7500 but you know should we cheer yet? Will this rally continue? Well, will the rally continue or not? Uh, that's, of course, uh, something that time will decide. But as of now, the bulls are in control. And second day running, the market showed you that the texture of the market has changed from being a sell-on rally market. This is now firmly a buy-on dips market. Today, the Nifty rallied 100 points from the morning gap down. The bank Nifty rallied 300 points from the morning gap down. And that's really as good as it gets as far as day traders are concerned. So it's been a good move. Large caps dominated today. A, a couple of mid caps also did well. But overall, it was a large cap driven day with cash market volumes also quite high. Let's take a look at the stocks that led the market high. In terms of heavyweight stocks, we had Larsen & Tubro, Reliance and Infosys all contributing equally in today's trade. Some other nifty winners included stocks like Maruti, which was one of the big winners. In fact, up 3.5%. Yes Bank was up 4% and Tech Mahindra was up 3.5%. Some other stocks that did well in trade today included stocks like Bosch, ONGC and Hindustan Unilever. All of them were higher. Now, the gains were capped largely because of one stock, HTFC. But apart from HTFC, there were some other losers as well. Stocks like Vedanta and BPCL also lower by about close to 3%. Then outside the index, the mid-caps didn't do uh, a lot, but a lot of large mid-caps or non-index large caps did well. You know, the stock of the day was Crompton Greaves. That was up 9% after selling off its international business. Ashok Leyland was up 6%. Page Industries was up 4.5%. Not just that, ADAG stocks did well. So stocks like Reliance Infra, Reliance Cap, both were higher. Tata LXI was up about 4.5%. So as of now, the bulls are in control. And on last two days' evidence, you'll have to say that this market clearly has some more legs to go uh, on the upside.